So hello, online Math 120 students, how are you? I decided to make a video to give you a tour of our Canvas shell, since you will be using it throughout the semester. So this is the home page. You should already be able to see this Canvas shell since you are enrolled in my course. Over here on the left, you will see various tabs, shall I say, the home page, which you are clearly on, where the syllabus is located, announcements that I have made, discussions, which is where you will have some of your homework is in discussions, the various modules, my lab and mastering, where you can find grades and people in the class if you wanna to connect to create study groups. So here's the first thing I'm gonna recommend. I'm gonna recommend that you turn on your notifications for this class. How do you do that? Well, go over here to account and click on notifications and then click everything that's appropriate. I would suggest clicking on notifications when announcements are made. So in your inbox for your email, you'll receive a notification that an announcement was made or a due date was changed or a new discussion was uploaded or whatever happens to this class, so to speak, throughout the semester. So that's gonna be my first recommendation to you. Something else I'd like you to see, we're just gonna go through the homepage so you can see various aspects of it. So homepage, as you scroll on down, gives you a little bit of what class you're in, you're in business calculus. Here is a fun little video for you to watch. Have some fun with it, enjoy it. Over here on the right side, you will see various uh, items that are up for due dates. So pay attention to those as well. They will change throughout the semester. As you keep on scrolling down, you'll see a little bit about myself as the instructor. You will see uh, my Canvas inbox is the best way to contact me. You can send me a direct email through uh, my email address here at the college, so that's okay too. I have virtual office hours and in-person office hours. Here is the Zoom link for my virtual office hours, and that will be Tuesdays and Thursdays between 8.45 and 9.45 a.m. I also have in-person office hours. I shall be in the Math Center, uh, and that is Building 60, Room 110, Mondays and Wednesdays from 8.45 to 9.45 a.m., all right? Now, some quick links. You can click on this to find, to find some support resources in case you need some resources in terms of how do I navigate Canvas or just Canvas questions in general or whatever else the college has to offer. The weekly modules, this is where you get started is the orientation. You start here and then week one starts chapter 11. Well, week one is this week. So you have a few items to work on. So let's just go to this introduction and orientation module. We're gonna get started here. The introduction, how to navigate through Canvas, creating your Canvas profile and settings in case you're uncertain how to do that making certain you're ready for online learning. Online learning is not always as simple as people think. They think, oh, it's a lot easier than going to face-to-face. -face. In some respects, yes, in some respects, no. Uh, you really need to be self-motivated to take an online class. You need to be able to manage your time, stay on top of the homework, because there's homework due uh, just about every weekend. There are uh, lecture videos, online lecture videos to look at every week. So, uh, and then online exams, which is through another uh, software called Gradescope, which I have already made another video for. So please make certain that you look at that announcement as it comes through. So what I suggest is you get a calendar and you start marking down all the due dates for this particular class between homework, uh, discussion homework, uh, and your exams themselves. And you're like, well, how do I find where all those due dates are located? Over here in the calendar, you can find where all those due dates are located. You can click on the calendar and uh, it'll show you when uh, all your math assignments are due for this particular semester for Math 120. So something to be aware of. All right, so August 21st, through September 2nd, this is when the chapter 11 module is going to uh, be worked on. My lecture videos are right here, it's the lecture videos. So if you click on that, 
you will see that I have a lecture video for each particular section of chapter 11. And every one of these particular videos is also closed captioned. So you can read along as well as look along. So your choice. The great thing about uh, all these videos is they are up on YouTube. So that's handy in case you want to, for some reason, look at it on YouTube if you don't have access to Canvas for whatever reason. Um, but that also is nice because after the class is over, you still have access to the videos because they're on YouTube. So you can, uh, when you start watching it, it'll have the uh, captions already on, excuse me, the captions will already be on, or you can turn them off if you don't want them on, whatever. The nice thing about lecture videos is you can stop, rewind, listen again, make certain you take notes though, have a notebook in front of you and take notes as if you were sitting in front of me in class, because that's going to be extremely important. Don't just watch the lecture video go, uh-huh, uh-huh, I get that, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then you like, wait, what happened? How do I do this homework? Because you forgot to take notes. Don't forget to take notes. That's all I can tell you, all right? And then at the bottom, this one has uh, three particular videos, four actually, one for each section, uh, pardon me, one for each method, and then the applications form. And then at the bottom, I have a few application videos, which is nice for you. And at the bottom, you can go to uh, uh, down here, time for homework and a quiz. You can click on that. It'll bring you back into the chapter 11 module so you can do your homework and your quiz for each section. Or you can go directly to my math lab. I'll talk about that in a second. But in the meantime, let's get back to the modules. So I'm gonna click over here on modules. Here are the resources I was mentioning, okay? Here in this particular module, this is towards the top of all the modules, is the review handouts. So if you need refresher on factoring or completing the square or doing long division or anything else that's listed here, I have a lecture video that you can look at to help you through that. That is above the orientation module. And by the way, you can close these up and not see them. You can expand them if you want to look at them and see what's in there, so just FYI. So anyway, there is a module for each chapter. Within this particular section, you have uh, homework, honors homework and a quiz for each section of chapter 11. And the same is true for all the other chapters that we're gonna be doing. And if you're like honors homework, what's honors homework? Well, I created an announcement about that. So make certain that you go and look at that announcement, okay? All right. Speaking of announcements, If I click on announcements, it will show you the syllabus video that has been created as well as the tour of Canvas, all right? And if you want to go back and look at any other announcements that I have made, you can see them in here. Discussions, let's look at discussions. In discussions, you see all the discussions that we have uh, do for the semester. They tell you when they're available. So you have a couple that are do that are right at the beginning. They are available August 20th. And then uh, the due dates on them as well. All right. Some of them are not available till later because they are for later chapters. There's a discussion per chapter. And then there's a due date for each one of these. This is part of your grade. So make certain that you work on these discussions. They are part of your grade. Speaking of grades, let me go here and take a look. There it goes. Okay. So something I want you to see over here on the left, uh, pardon me, on the right. Homework is 5% of your grade. Honors homework counts as 0%. It only gets initiated for those that have been doing the honors homework at the end of the semester. So don't worry about it. Quizzes are 5% of your grade. Practice exams don't count as anything either. So if you start seeing me input zeros for past due assignments and you think, hey, the honors homework is taking my grade down or those practice exams are taking my grade down. My question to you would be how could they considering the honors homework and the practice exams both count as 0%. So they're not, 
The only way your grade would be taken down is because you didn't do homework or you didn't do the quizzes. So that's how your exam, your, your homework, or pardon me, your overall grade gets taken down. Discussions are also 5%. So if you don't do those, those are also taken down. Exams are 70% of your grade. Review homework, there's extra credit. That's 5% of the grade as well. Final exam is 15%. So the total is 105% only because review homework is 5%. So you have a total of getting 105% in this class, an A++. If you do not do any of the review homework, you're like, I don't wanna do any extra credit. I just wanna focus on the regular homework. That's great. Understand this will count as zero. And if this is a 0%, then your total goes to 100%, which is exactly what is supposed to be in my class. 100% is the top. But if you decide to do the extra credit, then you can get the 105%, okay? So be very aware of that. Don't say when I input zeros for um, past due assignments, don't tell me that your homework is taken down because of honors homework or practice exams or even the review homework because the first two are 0%. And if you don't do the extra credit, it will be 0%, which means your total possible is now 100%. So please make certain you keep that in your brain. Okay, now homework is done through my lab and mastering. So let me click on this. This is the way you get into the My Math Lab. It will not let you in any other way. You must go through Canvas because this class has, or let me put it this way, the homework for this class is linked through Canvas. So you cannot do it, or you cannot enroll in it through my math lab. You must enroll here. Okay, so please make certain you understand that. Okay. At this particular point, you would open my lab in mastering, and it will walk you through the steps of registering from my math lab through Canvas. You'll have to accept the licensing agreement, of course. Uh, if you do not have the funds right now on day one, my math lab has an opportunity when it asks you to pay for a 14-day free trial. If you do not pay within those 14 days, you will lose access to my lab and mastering, and you will not be able to do any of the homework, quizzes, practice exams, extra credit on my math lab. And I have seen people do that and it has taken down their grade by a good 10% because homework and quizzes are certainly 10% of the grade combined, okay? Which means they've lost their A and they could also possibly lower them down to a C because without doing practicing the homework, practice with the homework, then they don't know what they're doing for the exams necessarily, right? So please make certain you sign up for this. There is no reason why you can't. And if you say, well, I don't have the money right now, there's that's not an excuse because there's a 14-day free trial. So your first two weeks of classes are basically covered. After that, I have no control over extending your 14-day free trial. This is not my program. This is Pearson's program, and they're the ones who have stipulated 14 days, that's all you get. So start saving the money now if you don't have it, or tell financial aid to please hurry up because you only have until the second week of classes, and then you're done being able to access homework, all right? Good, loving it. Okay, mm -hmm. I think that's it for now. Oh, let me just show you the calendar real quick so you can see it. When you click on calendar, it will show you like Math 120 is in green and it will start showing all the assignments. Well, I'm in the beginning of August, so it's not showing you anything. But anyway, the due dates would be up if I was in a different month. Okay, I think that is it for now. You guys have fun. Hopefully I see you in office hours. And I shall catch you on the flip side.